Places of worship were targeted yesterday afternoon with religious messages posted onto doors and windows. Our Jason Toctasian joins us live now in studio. Now, Jason, arrests were made yesterday, but are there any new updates from police today? Catherine, we now know the identity of three men detained at St. Anthony's Church for a number of charges relating to trespassing and criminal threats. Temple Beth Israel was among those places of worship targeted. Too much over recent months and even the last few years, um, we have people who decide that they need to um, make statements um, in our face. Religious communities in Fresno left shaken after at least two places of worship were targeted by three men taping religious messages to doors and windows. It's really a violation of our sacred space and that's inappropriate and uh, and discomforting. Staff at Temple Beth Israel and St. Anthony's reported confronting the men for posting messages and later being threatened. The perpetrator chose to become um, inappropriate. Um, at which point it was absolutely um, uh, appropriate for the police to respond. Two vehicles were found outside St. Anthony's, a motorcycle and van with out-of-state license plates. I had the chance to talk to one of the suspects. We've traveled everywhere, and everywhere that God tells us to stop, we stop. I've been talked to by the police many, many times, but I've only been arrested twice. This is the second time. The first time was in New York. Anywhere else it's, it's legal, anywhere else we'll spread this word. Now we know that we can't post signs on private property in the state of California. The suspects' identities, 32-year-old Christopher Avila, 32-year-old Daniel Watson, and 31-year-old Colin Larilla. Our primary uh, charge for Mr. Avila, the felony crime, is PC-422, criminal threats, which is a felony. And then all three of them had the PC-556 uh, posting signs on uh, closed land, private property, uh, PC-602, the trespassing, and PC-182, conspiracy to commit a crime. And authorities tell us that these incidents are not tied to the Israel-Palestine conflict. I know there was questions regarding whether or not this was a hate crime or for investigating this as a hate crime. Uh, there's no indication at this time that this is a hate crime. Um, it appears that these individuals were just wanting to um, profess their religious beliefs. And Fresno police also telling us that a third church was targeted, but that they're choosing to remain anonymous. Reporting live in studio, Jason Taktagian, KC24, local news that matters.